Hi Doty Knights. So in front of me I have two buckets. One that is completely full, almost overflowing, and one that is completely empty. Now I'm going to compare these buckets to invisible buckets that we ourselves have because everyone has an invisible bucket, something that people don't see, but that we either empty or fill every single day. And not only do we have an invisible bucket, but everyone else around us has an invisible bucket as well. And daily, we by choice either fill people's buckets or we dip from them. We can dip from our own bucket just as easy as we can dip from someone else's. And the reason that I'm sharing this with you is because we have something on our campus called school culture. And our school culture right now needs a little bit of encouragement. We need to really be mindful of each other. We need to take that extra minute during each day and think about how we can fill someone's bucket, even our own buckets. Now, most of you have had a bucket like this at some point in your life, and hopefully most of you have had a bucket like this, which is just absolutely full and overflowing. When I look at our school and the culture and the feeling, I think a lot of us right now have empty buckets, not just the students, but teachers, parents, administrators. You know, our buckets aren't very full because we have been through a lot. We have been through so much these past few months and we're just now getting back on track and really trying to kind of get some kind of normal routine again. And I think sometimes we forget about each other's feelings and the fact that, you know, we've got this bucket that needs to be filled. And how do you fill someone's bucket? There are so many easy ways. You can fill someone's bucket just by smiling, just by saying hello, by doing some kind of nice gesture. I mean, we all know how to dip from someone's bucket. I think sometimes we do that all too often, but we need to think about and concentrate on the ways to fill people's buckets and make people feel joyful and feel accepted and feel like they belong here at Doty Middle School because we are a family and we really need to work together to share that family feeling with everyone on campus from the moment you step foot on campus to the moment that you step off campus, we're a family and we are working together for one common goal and that is to be successful, to um, leave educated and to leave joyful, to leave feeling empowered, like we matter and we mean something and all of you do. So I wanted to just spend a few minutes with you and encourage you to fill each other's buckets with a little note, a positive word, a bit of encouragement, maybe a hug, a fist pump, send your teachers a note letting them know you appreciate them, send your friends a text, go home and clean your room for your parents, talk about filling a bucket. That's a huge, huge way to fill a bucket. And we can also not just fill buckets here at school, but we can fill buckets in our community. And we have such an amazing opportunity and I wanted to invite you after school next Wednesday to kind of work on a project that we are going to give to the city of Downey that's going to fill the whole city's bucket. Um, the mayor is going to be planting a very special tree near the library and it's going to be a tree of kindness and compassion and all around that tree Doty Middle School students and staff are going to be able to um, donate rocks rocks that have positive messages rocks that have messages of encouragement 
rocks that make you feel good when you look at them. These rocks are going to be placed around that tree of kindness and compassion. Can you imagine filling buckets, not just here, but in our own city? I would love to have you decorate a rock and really be a part of that special celebration. If you are interested in participating and you want to fill someone's bucket, then you can come and sign up with me during snack all this week. I will be outside of the front office right by that red table and you may sign up with me and once you sign up, I'll have your name on my list and I'll be able to give you all the details the following week, letting you know what time, letting you know the location, but we will provide everything. We provide the markers, the rocks. All you have to do is to provide the kind words and uh, that positive message that can fill someone's bucket. So Dodie Knights, thank you for letting me spend just a few minutes with you this afternoon. You are amazing, and I hope I can fill your bucket just as much as you can fill mine. Take care, and again, if you're interested in participating and making a rock for that special tree, please come see me during snack this week. I'll be at the red table in front of the office. Take care.